Good morning, everyone. It's Kelly here. I have my camera clamped up on my uh, oh crap handle in my truck right now. I have a cafe con leche. I stopped at a cute little uh, Cuban coffee pastry place down here in South Florida. It's like a must when I drive down here. I woke up at five o'clock this morning, packed up everything, and got on the road by 5.30 because I'm meeting some friends down in Marathon in the Florida Keys to go spearfishing for the day. I have no idea what today is gonna hold. Um, my friend Victoria, she's like, hey, the weather's good Sunday, you wanna come out spearfishing? I'm like, all right, sign me up, I'll drive down. It's about a three hour drive for me. I was gonna make a day trip out of it, however, I think I'm gonna crash at Sarah Stanzik's house, which if you guys know Nick Stanzik, that's his wife Sarah, in Isla Mirada, and we might do some girls' days um, the next two days and just go fish and spearfish and just have fun. So you guys will see that as well. Listen, I normally do not drink coffee before I spearfish or dive because I feel it, it like accelerates your heart rate and I cannot dive if I'm like with my heart. So I think I'm just gonna drink half of this. I'm not gonna drink all of it. I still have about an hour and 12 minutes until I get to my destination. We're supposed to meet up at nine o'clock. My arrival time's 9.24. I hope they don't mind. Like I said, I don't necessarily know these people I'm going with, so sorry I'm late if you're seeing this, but it is what it is. I did drive from three hours away. Um, I live in Stewart, Florida, so Stewart, Florida to around Marathon, it's about a three hour drive. Luckily, I did not hit any traffic. Right now, I'm currently driving on Dixie Highway. Um, the famous blue wall is right next to me to my left. If you guys have driven to the Florida Keys before, y'all already know what the blue wall is. So, I'm super excited. The weather looks phenomenal as of now. Hopefully, it doesn't get nasty later. Um, this whole week in Florida and South Florida, dude, the afternoon thunderstorms have been insane. Okay, so we just went spearfishing. We went on this beautiful yellow fin. It's Kyle's yellow fin over here. He's over here looking at the... Uh... What is that? What? what fish was that? Was that a massive mangrove? Probably is. Big oh my gosh. He was just looking in the water at the Sergeant Majors and there was a huge mangrove that just went up and then went back into the depths. But we're gonna get right back to spearfishing. We're filleting fish right now. We did pretty good, not too shabby. We just kind of putzed around, went to a couple shallower reefs. 
We did run offshore to see if we can find any dolphin. We plucked a couple solos out of the water here and there under some seaweed patches. But I just felt this guy's stomach and there's something big in there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out. You ready? I gotta cut it. It's always super interesting when you find stuff in stomachs. This little fish ate, look at that, there's a tail. Oh, it looks like a parrot fish. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh, he's coming out. Oh, that looks like a baby parrot fish right there. Look at that colorful tail. I don't know if you guys can see it. We're filming with a GoPro and the sun is going down. It's super bright right now. Oh my gosh. How, like that, that's like half the size of this fish. That's crazy. So we're gonna finish flying this fish and we're going to go offshore in Duck Key and go spear fishing. Like stone him, maybe? Or no? I don't know, he just keeps biting me <laughs> out. <laughs> maybe I should just let him go. Maybe just let him go. Yeah. <laughs> I think he just ripped a chunk out of my arm. Oh, 
I don't even want to take this off. I think I'm just gonna leave it. When in doubt, see Yellow Jack. I was hoping a mutton would come in, but just a couple small mangroves, a tiny baby hogfish. Turned around, Yellow Jack appeared. A nice little mess of fish but you guys look under the fillet table right now if you guys don't remember from my earlier videos on youtube this is drift he's almost four years old now his mama victoria is behind the camera right now helping me out hi baby drift i know i missed you too he really just wants this fish crazy story and how ironically that i come down here and make a video with victoria and her friends down here in duck key and she brings drift well Fun fact about Drift is he inspired me, I guess Victoria did she has Drift, to get a golden retriever. Like he was just the cherry on top. Oh, I thought he was getting into something. <laughs> like I, that dog is so amazing. I'm like, I'm getting a golden one day. You can see him in the background. Oh no! <laughs> you probably drank too much salt water yeah. or something. <laughs> oh no, Drift, ha Drift has the squirts. <laughs> He's, yeah. Poor baby. So this is one of the mangroves I shot today. Um, he actually, you'll see it in the footage, this mangrove bit me on my arm. Let's see if you can see that. See that little mark right there? It's two little fangs on top and two on the bottom. Luckily I had a two mil wetsuit on because if I didn't, that would be a chunk out of my arm. It hurt, it hurt a lot more than it looks, let me tell you something. I, I didn't know what to do because every time I moved the fish, you just clench down harder. And Victoria's like, should I stone it? I'm like, I don't know, because every time you touch the fish, it just wants to, just, it doesn't, it's not gonna let go. Finally, I just dropped the whole fish and he let go, but I thought for sure he did more damage, but thank gosh he didn't. I've been bit by much worse. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish flaying these fish. And I'm gonna actually take it back to last week. Uh, Blue Gabe, myself and his two kids came down to Key West. And we went spearfishing with, Captain Aaron Young, aka Key West Waterman on YouTube, and I shot my first mangrove snapper. Not mangrove snapper. And I shot my first mutton snapper. I was so, so stoked. So y'all, check this out.
first giant mutton. Look at that thing. Holy moly. My first mutton ever on spear gun. He's huge. He's so much bigger out of the water. Completely stoned him, which is exactly what I wanted to do because there's this little reef shark around here that's just nuts. The first time he swam up, I shot him and I missed him. I think I was just, I was rushing my shot and I was just so excited. I'm like, dang it. I'm like, all right, let me just wait. He'll circle back around because that's not the first time I saw him down there. Sure enough, he circled back around. I dove down. Perfect shot. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. Wow. Look at that thing. That is a huge one. Crazy. That's a grown one right there. I might have to get this mounted. I'm, I'm so happy right now. Whew. Let's put him on ice. Oh my gosh, I gotta get some pictures of this thing. So I'm about to take this fish off the shaft and take some photos of it. And Will just pointed out that the flopper didn't even open. This shaft shot this fish in the spine, completely stunned it. It's a good thing it was stoned because if it wasn't, it would have shook right off. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you got this. Dang, it's still not coming off. All right, I'm about to get in the boat for this. <laughs> Shake it off. I wonder if once we pull it out, he's going to come back to life. Oh, God. <laughs> He is a grown fish. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know what you're... I thought this fish was just going to come right off. It must be lodged in the spine. It is. For sure. It's it's in between, you know where that collar plate is? Oh. It's lodged right in there. That is wild. Well, it's like the best place to shoot a fish and then the worst because you can't get a shaft out. So we're going to take some photos and then try to get this thing out of here. I literally shot him and like a big sandbar just came coming in hot. <sighs> well, the boys are trying to get a big black grouper that is all the way up in this ledge and it is a very tricky shot. They go down, they see it, it's there, they go back down, it's not there, it's moved. So there's this nice honker mangrove snapper that was just hanging off off the ledge in the sand. Got him. but he was looking right at me. Oh man. Luke just caught another grouper. It's coming up right now. We got a big old red grouper. He was just hanging out under the boat. Listen, Blue Gabe, Dibs, and I have been swimming just like 
it seems like forever looking for fish. We come back to the boat, all the fish are under the boat. That's crazy. Great, good tonight. Look what Luke just caught. That's what I just caught. Let me see what you just caught. I just got a big old. We anchored up right on the grouper spot. All right. Nice. Good one. Come on, let's get him off. Please. Tell me about the fight. It was pretty. It was pretty hard. I thought Dibs was just in there messing with me, but apparently not. Oh, two of them. Oh, massive. Yeah. Huge southern rays just came up to feed when we're throwing carcasses in the water. Oh, he just went over the big mutton snapper. This is the designated camera bag for today. But this video is actually ending, and I'm starting a new video today with Nick and Sarah Stanzik. We got a fish keeper for some lionfish if we see any. But I want to give a huge shout out to um, Aaron Dibs on Bottom for taking us out in Key West last week and to Kyle for taking Victoria and I out on the elephant. Now, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button if you liked it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.